What's up, y'all? It's Nakota Matthew, artist and sustainable designer, here with video number two on the YouTube channel. So I hope you guys are subscribed. For some really cool upcoming content. We are just getting started. But today, we are going behind the scenes of my signature Nakota Matthew bleach dye t-shirts. I basically went to the gym and had my coffee this morning, so I'm good to go. Except for one errand I need to run before we can get out into what looks like a really sunny day. So after that little quick intro, let's get right after it and head to the store and get what we need. So we got what we need. Now we're gonna head back to the house and get started. All right, we're back. And now first thing we gotta do is take the studio, move it outside. All right, y'all, we are outside and we are basically all set up and ready to go. So I'm already kind of getting started, but let me just give you a little rundown on how we're doing it. So the first thing you wanna do is soak your shirts in just plain water and then rinse the water out so they're nice and wet. Second, you wanna make sure the bleach is in a nice bottle that's easy to use. And then from there, you just wanna scrunch the shirt up or you can twist it to give it the spiral design. Once the shirt is all ready to go, you just put it out and cover it, just cover it in bleach as much as you want. Then all you gotta do is wait and a little bit later, just flip them over and put some more on the other side. After that, rinse them out, make sure all the bleach and any coloring is out and give them a nice wash. Should be good to go. All right, so we're all finished up. We got all the shirts together and now we just gotta go wash them. All right, so we're here at the laundromat because they have really big machines so I can do it all in just like one shot. All right, so now while those are in the wash, I'm gonna trust that they'll be okay and just run over to the beverage distributor really quick to see if I can find a beer I've been looking for. All right, and now we have secured our clothes and we're taking them home to dry because I just spent 850 on washing them. I had no clue, what a waste. All right, so they didn't have the beer that I was looking for, but they did have something that tickled my fancy a little bit. So I found this beer, it says Cervezas Alhambra, and then it says Reserva Cerveza Roja, which means red beer. So it's a product of Spain, never had red beer before, but if you have, comment below what I'm getting myself into, but you're gonna find out. All right, so all the shirts are now in the dryer and they look really good. Now you know, they're really not complete without the front pockets. So now I'm gonna take you through my upcycling process of how I make the signature Nakota Matthew pockets for all my shirts. So my process when making my pockets is just taking the fabric I have, tracing out the shape of the pocket I want. I use chalk to mark it and then cut it. And then I use my mat to measure out measurements on each corner to where I'm gonna fold it before putting it onto the shirt. From there I fold down the top part and hem that down. And then I don't really fold the sides in until I'm ready to put it onto the shirt. Can't forget to put on the final Nakota Matthew stitch. All right, so we're gonna take a break and try this beer. All right, so we got our chilled mug and our beer that was in the freezer actually for a little bit. See how red it really is. Interesting. All right, not as much fizz as I was expecting. Cheers. Hmm kind of sweet pretty good 7.2 percent it's kind of good i'd say it's got a little like caramel taste to it pretty good it's not as red as i was expecting actually not gonna lie overall not bad have you guys ever tried red beer all right so now that i showed you guys how to make all these bad boys and we got one pocket done i still got some work to do so that's really all i got for you guys today thank you guys for watching i hope you guys subscribe to upcoming content i still have so much planned for this year i'm only a few months in and it's getting crazy so thank you guys so much have a good one